Hello everyone. Uh, today's topic is little bit different from the regular topic, trigonometric ratios without calculator. Like uh, normally the teacher use uh, a triangle and isosceles triangle and sometimes equilateral triangle to find the trigonometrical ratios. Uh, like standard angles, for example, 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees. These standard angles normally they use a triangle to find to calculate the trigonometric ratios. But my method is a little bit different as you will definitely enjoy this. I, I can just find this all trigonometric ratios of these standard angles just in one minute, but after after so much practice. Okay. So what is my method actually? My method is very simple. Thus you have to write five numbers. Zero, one, two three four like there are five numbers okay now this number you have to divide this number by uh, divided by four you have to divide this number by four each number okay the first number divided by four is coming zero the one divided by four is coming one upon four we cannot simplify the two upon four when you write 2 upon 4, that will become 1 upon 2. So that's 1 upon 2. 3 upon 4, we cannot simplify. So that's 3 upon 4. And the 4 upon 4 is becoming what? Cancel out. It's coming 1. Okay. The second step. Second step is what? What you want to do now? Just take the under root of the each number. Like under root 0, under root 1 upon 4, under root 1 upon 2, under root 3 upon 4, and under root 1. When I apply the under root, what is happening now? 0 root is coming 0. The 1 under root is 1. But the 4 under root, the 4 under root is 2. So I will write here 2. 1 under root will be 1. But 2 under root will be in decimal. So I will write only under root 2. And 3 will remain 3 under root. And 4 under root is coming 2. And this is coming 1. These are the like we have do, uh, done two working like uh, divided by four and under root now what i have to do here now is very simple just you have to apply here from the right hand side from the right hand side and from the left hand side from the right hand side and from the left hand side what do you have to do one more here what you have to do now from here you have to apply sine 30 d sine 30 i mean sine degree the first sine degree you have to apply from here like here 0 degrees 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 degrees and 90 degrees i mean sine should be from left side okay now what you have to do here you have to apply the cos theta from right hand side to move left 0 degrees 30 degrees 45 degrees here 60 degrees and 90 degrees when you observe this when I do the calculation what you can observe now just see what you will observe you will observe that this is becoming a table in this table you can find the sine th sine 0 degrees sine 0 sine 30 degrees 1 upon 2 and sine 45 degrees 1 upon under root 2 and so on but when you move for the cos cos 0 is 1 cos 30 degree is under root 3 upon 2 that's in decimal is 0 0.866 something then cos 45 is 1 upon under root 2 means 0 0.707 then cos 60 is 1 upon 2 0.5 this is a way that you can uh, do the trigonometrical ratio the standard angles okay but when i move to find the 10 like if i want to find 10 0 degrees so normally you know the formula of 10 is what i'm writing here the 10 theta is always equals to sine theta divided by cos theta so sine theta means when I write 0 degrees, I will write sine 0 and cos 0. Both will be 0. Like I am just writing one example. 0 degrees and cos 0 degrees. 
So sin 0 from the table sin 0 is 0 and cos 0 is 1. So that's why the 10, I'm writing here, the 10 0 degree is coming 1. Now I am moving to find 10 30 degrees. So 10 30 degrees, I will do the calculation here. 10 30 degrees, what you have to write? 10 30 means sin 30 is 1 upon 2 and cos 30 is under root 3 upon 2 and 2 to cancel out what is left 1 upon under root 3 so that's your answer 1 upon under root 3 you can write or even you can write like in decimal 1 point I think so 1 point 0 0.5773 7, I think so you can write now moving to 1045. 1045 is the uh, uh, next uh, same the sine 45 upon cos 45. Uh, but you can observe both are same. So when the both are same, the answer will be one because one upon under root two multiplied by, divided by one upon under root two, the answer will be one. Okay, now moving to 1060 degrees. 1060 means I will write 1060 means sine 60 upon cos 60. The sin 60 is here under root 3 upon 2 under root 3 upon 2 and this cos 60 is 1 upon 2 so 2 to cancel out what is left only under root 3 so I am writing under root 3 here then we have finally uh, 10 90 degrees 10 90 uh, just you can see when you write 10 90 degrees 10 90 is sin 90 upon cos 90 okay sin 90 you can see sin 90 is coming 1 the cos 90 is coming 0 and then when we divide any number by 0 is always infinity so that's the solution this I can add here like we ha are having a table here complete table with sin cos 10 the trigonometric ratios without using calculator just and without using any triangle to draw and without any other calculation just five numbers and divide and root and then all the values i would hope that you like this uh, information well and thank you so much for watching this have a nice day